How awesome would it be if you could create something like Angry Birds into Mold Hype? Pretty awesome, right? Well, here's a sneak into our little experimental sample on Tour de Hype. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the physics feature and drag action with a little bit of code to create an Angry Birds style demo. This is what it looks like. The user can drag the acorn to the left and release it to shoot it at the pyramid. When the golden acorn hits the ground, the attempt was successful. This example is a little bit more complex than usually, but since Hype already comes with a physics engine, it requires really just a tiny bit of custom code. Of course, you can reuse it any way you want. Let me quickly walk you through the project. We will take a look at the physics feature first. Hype comes with a built-in physics engine. It allows us to easily define physics behavior for each element individually. So we will set the ground to be a static element that interacts without movement. The binders and acorns, on the other hand, become dynamic elements. All other elements in this project should not be affected by the physics, so they remain inactive, which is the default state. We can use Hype's drag action now to set the user controls for the gameplay. We are using chained actions here, since we need to control the element's positions on drag and take care of the logic for shooting the acorn afterwards. The latter requires custom code, which is why we need a custom function called release. But before we dive into that, two things remain first. We need to set a unique ID for the acorns in order to address them via script. I have used player and target here. Secondly, we need to save the initial values for the player acorn in a data store so that we can calculate dynamically how far the user has dragged the acorn before releasing it. I have used a custom function called setData on scene load to do this. Now we can use these values in our custom function release to calculate the distance to measure the velocity of the fired acorn as soon as the user releases the acorn. We use this velocity to create a dynamic animation and then check if the target hit the ground using the top value of the target element. If that is the case, the strike text gets visible. This is where you can chip in and create your own game logic, for example collecting points or something like that. That would be another good example for using the data store by the way. Make sure you download the project to play around with it, create different obstacles and variations of it tweak the values, use your own assets, you get the idea, right? I hope you liked this little example. You can leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas what we should cover next. So enjoy it and happy animating!